Grants Pass Rotary Club offers you to the Balloon and Kite Festival, June 2, 3, and 4, 2017. Probably a hundred people waiting in line right now. It took me an hour and ten minutes to get here from Countryside Village. There we see the people in line. Those are the ones that have paid. We're waiting to pay our ten dollars for a brief tethered balloon ride. Lots of open spaces here today. Maybe a five to ten mile an hour breeze blowing. I don't know what effect that'll have on the tethered balloon rides. There's the restrooms in the distance. And there's the rest of the people that are waiting in line for the tethered balloon ride on June the 3rd. 2017 in Lathrop Park. There's a water truck in the distance watering the driveway, so there won't be quite so much dust. No, no. What's the green? Oh, yeah. I want the This is the line waiting to see if they're going to have the balloons go up. We've got a little bit of wind today. That's the line of people waiting to fill out the form of release for any accident that they might have. The field has little sprouts of corn coming up where they used to have corn growing in this location. Took me an hour and ten minutes to get here. I'm going to be able to see them. They're beautiful. Maybe some of you will get to take a ride. Uh, the issue right now with our balloons uh, that are going to tether is wind. And we have been on this site all week long watching wind. And what happens is it starts to die down here in the mid part of the morning. We've seen it be like 8 or 9 o'clock, and we're at 9 now, so we're hopeful it happens. Um, if we can get a, a period of no wind, the balloons can go up, and they'll tether and anchor, and as long as the wind doesn't get crazy, wind isn't a problem anymore. Uh, so we're just waiting for that window of opportunity. In the meantime, we just spawned into our kite team. We've got probably 15 people visiting or residents here in the valley that are have big, giant, beautiful kites. I see our team Jeannie starting to get set up. And we've got Phil and Brett and a handful of others that are all going to be on site very shortly. If you haven't seen these giant kites uh, and the sporting kites that are zipping around and make the noise, it's pretty, pretty fun to watch. So we're going to have something in the sky for you very quickly. Uh, and then those guys in the air, uh, it'll be a lot of fun to see and maybe even ride. Beyond this morning, uh, here's what's going on today. We've got the world's largest kite, the American Mega Flag. It's 10,000 square feet. If you can even fathom something that big, it, it would fit 30 school buses in that if you could fit, fit school buses in a kite. Uh, and that's going to go up somewhere in the late morning uh, or around noon. We have a dump truck that that thing is tied off to so it doesn't fly away. Uh, that is going to go out on our main field, so it'll be exciting. And uh, all afternoon, we'll have dragon kites in the air. They're the size of buildings. There's fish. There's octopus. 
Uh, and then this evening, we're going to have uh, a show. It's a uh, concert by Soundstage for you. You've seen 50s and 60s classics. They've got a three-part horn band, three singers. They're a lot of fun. They're big sound. Uh, really great, positive, fun music. Uh, Two-hour show from 6.30 to 8.30. And then we're going to do another nightclub tonight, which if you've never been to a balloon nightclub, as long as the swing starts cooperating with us like it has this whole week, uh, there will be four to five balloons that at that night do this really spectacular uh, light show with their propane burners to a choreographed music. Uh, so that's at around 9, 9.15 tonight. Uh, we've got to wrap up around 10 for our permit. So uh, we've got I mean, a lot of time between now and 10 and a lot of activities. If you drove in today and you got a brochure, just keep looking at that brochure and you'll see the itinerary for today. We sure do appreciate that you came out and you may hear from me uh, in a little bit. I'll try to keep you posted. In the meantime, Denny, our sound guy, is going to keep it up with the music. Enjoy the, the food, enjoy each other's company, and uh, we really do appreciate that you're here. If you see me roaming around on a golf cart, just stop me and ask your question. I'm available. Have a happy Saturday, everybody, and welcome to June. Uh, summer is finally here. We're out of our wet winter. Uh, we, I know we all love Oregon, but it's finally summer, so let's celebrate that today. Have a great day, and I'll, I'll talk to you again soon. Got their sound system working already. We've got some kites up. That's one of the big, kites big, big that we see. Of our special sponsors, we've got a bunch and we just couldn't do it without you. Of course, first off, we call this Celebrating Everyday Heroes. And so this event does support some great organizations here in the Rogue River Valley, Safe Families for Children, CASA doing so much, Court Appointed Special Advocates, and every child. That's what we're helping, and we appreciate you. 
paying your parking and uh, helping us out with pilots and a show like the Megafly. Uh, as you notice, right now the winds are 12 to 14 and that's just too much wind to do tether flight. So we do apologize. You will get a chance. We hope later on and we hope the wind dies down just a bit. But we uh, certainly are turning our attention to the kites and what an incredible, incomparable sight it is as they fill the skies here at Fort Van Noy Farms. Thanks so much for taking part in the event. I mentioned sponsors I would be remiss. If I didn't tell you about the city of Grants Pass, our friends at All Care Health, the people here at Fort Benoit Farms, the Rotary Club Americas, and Moving Mountains Advisors in Digital Media, if you do business with any of these title sponsors, say hey, thank you very much for being part of this event. Also our thanks to Dutch Brothers, Pacific Power, making your life great, Evergreen Bank, Royal Stanley and Accurate Roofing, they are good people. We have some delicious food here in the event, and we encourage you to take advantage of all of the food vendors. Dutch Brothers is here, they've got coffee. And Bales of hay to sit on. Rebels do. Hey, Bill, is that too heavy for you? Once again, if you're able-bodied, if you want a 17, there's always something to see, something for the kids, something for the adults. I guess I just have to ask now, uh, how many of you believe in telekinesis? Raise my hand. Just check.
Getting ready to launch the mega flag that's spread out on the ground, ready to be unfurled. The wind is variable. Sometimes the kites go down on the ground and come back up again. But they will continue to flap until they find a sufficient amount of ambient wind underneath the flag. And then when the flag goes airborne, it's not a very long show. So have your cameras ready, have your smartphones out, because it is spectacular. And once it gets airborne, Retrieval of the kite is even trickier. They actually cut it loose and have it rear back and fall back down to the ground. Be sure to have your cameras. This is a seminal event of the Grants Pass Balloon and Kite Festival, the world's largest kite for the first time ever in the state of Oregon. We've got a lot of kite flyers here and we sure appreciate them coming out we appreciate our sponsors, our vendors. Support your vendors. They really, really appreciate it. I think we're getting sort of close. See how they flap the kite up in the air. Get ready. Get your smartphones out. This is going to be incredible. Underneath, what an incomparable sight. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody in the state of Oregon besides you right here. I don't know, Dan, okay. Barnes has ever seen this no, before. No, it's not. 50 stars, four feet wide on each side, totaling 100. I can't get to your stars, going. I can't do that. I can't do your right now. Just get okay. the right amount I'm of sorry, wind. but I'm not going to mess The mind. mega flag is going to take flight. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. It's finding its way. We want to thank Dave and Jim and the flight crew for this incredible kite.
and this is the only way to get this kite off the ground. The retrieval is going to be fantastic. It will be fully extended, and then they'll just drop the backside down and have it collapse over itself. Holy cow! The conditions, I'm thinking, are just about perfect for kite flying. That flag weighs 400 pounds, and it is a handful. Our thanks to the locals who said, yeah, we'd like to help take part in this. If you take pictures, post it to Facebook, Instagram, any social media, tell everybody you're having fun. The flag was made in Australia. The Grants Pass Balloon and Kite Festival. Holy cow. What an amazing display of color. The world's largest kite right here in Grants Pass. Oh, long may she wave. I don't know how it works, but it is amazing. There are no bad shots of this. Get your smartphones out and take a picture, just like me. Yeah, you're not going to see a bunch of uh, surfer dudes putting this up on the beach anytime soon. Wow. You can say you were here and a part of the Grants Pass Balloon and Kite Festival when they launched the mega American flag kite. The other down. Oh man, I gotta post fast. You know. A special thank you to Jim Martin. He's the flight chief for this uh, kite. David Gomberg and his wife from Tillamook, Oregon are the owner. Coming down on a late spring morning. The mountains in the background. It, this is just a little slice of Americana you can only find once a year and only as part of the Grants Pass Balloon and Kite Festival. Are you glad you came out this morning? Let's hear it for the crowd crew to put it up. That was incredible. I'm sure. They'll keep her waving. Plaintiff. Beautiful. Harmonica. We appreciate whoever is doing that. That was great. And the flag well, is here. coming we'll down to be it. retrieved. <laughs> Give him a big hand for taking the effort to launch that huge flag. It's a memory I'm going to take with me all the way back to Walla Walla. Yeah, I know. I'm telling people what the stuff like that they're all. Uh huh? I told this lady in the grocery store one time, they should work in a produce department. I was standing by the green on the shelf. And she walked up behind me and she said, You're behind me! Just trying to have fun, lady! Bales of hay are for sitting on. Unique idea.
That's it for today. Signing off from Lathrop County Park in Grants Pass, 2003. 2017, June the 3rd. There's the exit to Upper River Road, which we don't think there's a bike lane on and much more traffic than Lower River Road. This is an overview of the entire site. Parking is probably 300 cars in there right now, and they're lined up coming in to see the balloons, the kites, the balloons have gone. Too much wind. Beautiful home on Lincoln Road. Sunrise on June the 6th, 2017 from our porch. Beautiful rose bush on Kashmir. More rose bushes on Kashmir. Beautiful flower bed. Nothing but roses.
uh, I go down and feed them around back down by the creek down there. There's a creek that runs from this pond down to the next pond. And if I feed them out here, the downtown uh, uh, Canadian geese come. And boy, they're, they, I don't, you know, they just make a mess of everything. They make oh, yeah. Poop. I saw them. But, you know, smart me, I never brought my camera when they had their babies. Oh. But I did see them. We sure have a mess here. We're trying to get this cleaned up. Get all some this, of that moss out of there? Yeah, all this algae and stuff. We're having a real hard time. If you look at the, the, the uh, bullfrogs love it. See that bullfrog down there? And there's, there's a... Rich pointed out this bullfrog. Oh, yeah. You can't see over the rail. Actually, I'll tell you what, there's there's four of them there. There's one there. See down here, Bill? There we got a bullfrog. What? I got him in, in focus now. Another one over there. Yeah, there's six here. Six right here, close. I don't know what the neighbors think. The neighbors are kind of mad at me because I feed them in the first place. I don't, I, I don't feed, I don't feed the geese, but I feed the ducks. And then, and then uh, once I, I don't know where they come from, but see, that's a, that's a female. Oh shit! What did you just get? We've been seeing some pretty good sized. Uh, Is that right? Yeah. Good sized fish. Yeah, good sized. Yeah, there's a kingfish up there. He wouldn't be there if there wasn't fish in here. You know, I don't know what they are. I'm not that familiar with fish. I just know that they're pretty good size. And a lot of polywogs and stuff. Go out of, go on the shell of that head, and then off to the trail that goes along the shell of the head, where that typical TV pink. And then you have to take that up. It looks so rough. That There's the bridge we do our photography from <laughs> over the pond. Now we're right down here on the water's edge, on a gravel path. There's Bob Clare that came down to show me this gravel path as a way to take better pictures. Beautiful landscaping in this yard.